Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am back from break and let me tell you, I wanted to start the year differently. I'm setting up a new studio. I had some great, huge, big videos planned and then everyone on my team got COVID, including probably me. Uh <laughs> So uh, for now, I'm going to be reacting to this video that has been very heavily requested. It's going insanely viral. I'm going in blind here. I haven't watched a second of this. This is being called the world's most cringe breakup video. I've not watched it. I hope you haven't yet. Let's get into it. I might be a little bit late, but uh, like I said, my entire team, including probably me, has COVID. So uh, we're going to do this, and then next week is going to be huge. I get overwhelmed so easily, my anxiety creeps inside of me. This channel is called OK Baby. They have uh, 1.5 million subscribers, and from uh, already six seconds in, I, I hate her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like her. If you're starting a breakup video by singing a popular TikTok song, oh, that's rough. I'm getting the vibe immediately that uh, she's stoked about this. And uh, this guy's kind of laughing off the singing. He seems like uh, maybe not the time to be singing, is it? I'm feeling it too, dude. Are you going to cry? It? No. Are you going to cry? No. I might. It I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that felt like a little bit like high school bullying. I'm right. It looks like she's stoked to be breaking up. He is really hurt about it. And she's like, are you going to cry? I might. Just kidding. You're going to cry because I'm single and you're sad. I got it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So as many of you guys have noticed, we have gone some time without uploading. Man, she's excited about this. I don't know either of these two people, uh, but I feel very bad for this guy. And we're not even a minute in. She's stoked, he's not. Poor fella. Actually, I, we did try, I tried a lot to vlog, but it was just, we were going through a lot of emotions and a lot of yeah. sad, at least I was going through a lot of sad. Did you catch that? Uh, he goes, oh, I tried to keep vlogging, but uh, we, I mean, I was going through a lot of sad. Oh, no. I think this is going to be the world's most one-sided breakup video, which we've never really seen on YouTube. Most breakup videos are like both parties crying and sad, but it's a mutual decision. I've never seen this before, and I'm excited to get to the end of it. Sadly, it is, and it happened, you guys. Um, I'm laughing because it's awkward, it's and I, we're here. <clears throat> yeah, and we're here, so, uh... Man, she is, like, so disinterested in this dude's emotions. She's like, oh, what, is he still fucking sad about me leaving him? Oh, my God. I've got six new boyfriends. I might take the baby, vlog that. For fuck's sake, would you get over being sad, please? Is there something in my nails? Oh, I hate when men have emotions. Kira broke up with me. <laughs> This is one of these weird things where I don't know how many jokes I should be telling because I just feel very much for this dude and this chick is clearly, clearly doesn't. So I feel like making fun of this dude is, is not the best thing to do in this situation. So Does crazy. it make you feel better to say it like that? Do you feel yeah. better because it's not you? Oh uh, yeah, because I tried my, my ass off to make it work in the end and... Uh, but that's the thing him, guys, yeah. if you're listening, in the end, doesn't always work anymore. Yeah, she's like uh, so unbelievably stoked. It's it's like uh, th this. Is, I feel like I'm watching two different videos at the same time. I feel like uh, she is like at a nightclub, at a party, having the time of her life, just chatting with the girls, and he's like in the middle of a funeral. You know, he's like fuck. My relationship is dead. I still love this girl. And she's like, ha ha ha, you're sad. I'm happy. I broke up with you. Anyway, what are you doing? Are you looking for someone new? I've already f***ed three blokes. We interrupt this incredible video to bring you even more incredible news about your balls. They can be perfected thanks to Manscaped.com, the sponsor of today's video. Use code BIGSPEARS for 20% off and free shipping the Lawn Mower 4.0. Seriously, the best ball bag trimmer in the game. I use this thing all the time and I'm looking schmick, okay? I can guarantee you if I check, man, even I'm impressed and I see that every morning in the mirror and show me yours. Oh, that is just disgusting. 
15. You need a Lawnmower 4.0, all right? You need to use code BIGSPEARS for 20% off and free shipping, the best pubic hair trimmer in the game. I'm serious, I use this all the time. They're a big supporter of the channel, so support the brands that support what I do. That's how I keep everything spinning and entertaining you guys. And look, to be honest, it's just a genuinely brilliant product that I genuinely use all the time. So, manscaped.com, use code BIGSPEARS for 20% off and free shipping. Great product, even better deal. Get on it. Let's get back to the video. Long time. We started our relationship as best friends, and I'm only giving you my point of view, not no. yours. That is the entire video. I'm only giving you my point of view, not yours. Every time this dude tries to speak about how he's feeling, she starts going, yeah, but I'm feeling great, and this is awesome, and, and, and we're breaking up. I feel like she wanted this video to be like a YouTube short, you know? She's like, I want this to be 60 seconds and under. I'm single, I'm living my best life, I'm thriving, I'm rich, I've got money. Uh, I've got 10 new boyfriends. Uh, he's really sad. He's crying every single night and drinking himself to sleep. But I am thriving and that's what matters. 60 seconds in, out, let's go. It got to a point in my mind where I felt like, are we just best friends? This dude's facial expressions is just screaming, I heavily disagree. I'm being friend zoned by the mother of my child. Hmm. You know, you know what this is? This is a classic male pose of, I'm trying not to lose my shit. That's like crazy and dramatic. Nobody like cheated. Nobody like- Feelings were hurt though. But can you please clarify that I wasn't cheating? Yeah, you, you weren't cheating. Because like, you people cheating. will dig into You that. did a lot of things that bothered me. I wouldn't consider them full blown cheating, but it was definitely lines Oscar, that we shouldn't have crossed. That. Okay, she cheated. All right, you know, I feel, oh man. If she's going, can you clarify that I wasn't cheating on you? Things said by a person who was cheating on you, you know? Like, oh me, you know, floating with people, sending a few nudes, that's all good. It doesn't actually count as full on cheating unless I marry the person. Anything up to that point is fair game. If you are having a, a very public debate over the definition of cheating, she's cheated. You know what I mean? Like if you're having a fucking debate with your partner over like, well, technically this, it's like, yeah, dude, you're cheating. I knew when I, in my head, was thinking of Oscar being happy with somebody else and that made me happier, that's when I knew I didn't want to be with you anymore. I mean, maybe she's just a cuck. Maybe she's confusing a fetish for falling out of love. Maybe she should give that a go, you know? Watch this handsome man plow through a few of her friends. Maybe she'd be into that. Maybe that'll reinvigorate the relationship and save it. I can't meet your adrenaline standards. I don't like the things that you like. I don't want the same things that you want. I'm not interested in the same things that you are. Man, that sucks. Look at this guy's face. He's like, whoa, I'm really getting my feelings hurt. This, see, this, you, you start here, as a man, when you start having negative feelings and you're trying not to lose it, you start here and you're like, hmm. And now he's at, this expression he's making is like, you know when you stub your toe in the dark? He's like, ooh, that makes me angry, but I can't hit the thing that's hurt me. You know, when you want to punch the wall? I had decided that I didn't want to be with Oscar anymore. I couldn't tell him that. We were going on a family vacation with both of our families to Disneyland with our kids for Christmas. I've always thought this. Nothing will ruin a relationship more than going to Disneyland with your children and your mothers-in-law. No relationship can survive that. I don't think you can book fucking six tickets to Disneyland without having a blow-up argument. 15 grand just for flights and accommodation. What the fuck? I know we're rolling in it on YouTube, but is Disneyland really that good? Are we about to pay $20,000 to wait in line for eight hours with your mother-in-law? I don't love you anymore. Also, all that's in the back of my mind is how will people take what I just said. Very poorly. I'll give you the answer to that now. They will take it very, very poorly. Uh, judging by the comments, she radiates if red flags were a person energy. Tyra is going to regret this. The lack of empathy she has for Oscar's emotions and feelings is horrible. The sadness in his face tells it all. The fact that anytime he tries to speak up about his feelings on this, she interrupts him, speaks volumes. Oscar, you deserve better. To keep things as like positive. Yeah. As, yeah, positive as well. Why did you look like that? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Even she's like, hey, you keep doing the face. What are you doing the face for? And that face is like, I'm not going to say anything. I disagree with everything that's being said, but I'm going to stay silent because I don't want this to be an argument on camera. That's what that face is. He keeps switching from, hmm, that's wrong, to, hmm, I shouldn't say that. We're still going to be like, vlogging and anymore. uploading on this channel mm -hmm. together. We still are going to live in the same house. We still are sharing finan finances. 
That's not good. That is absolutely terrible. If you guys start paying for each other's dates, this shit's gonna get messy as fuck. That's not good. Hey, babe, what did you buy three packets of extra large condoms for with the business card? That's not a business expense. What will the accountant say? Also, my feelings are hurt, so I'm gonna go into the other room and sit like this until I turn to stone once more. Oscar is sleeping in another room. Yeah, that's interesting. That's so a, that is such a classic sentence. She goes, Oscar's sleeping in another room. And he's like, yeah, that's interesting. That's not what he wanted to say. He wanted to go, yeah, that's absolutely fucked. She broke up with me and I lose the bed. She needs to move out. But instead he went, yeah, that's really interesting, isn't it? Oscar's his first night in the new room. Yeah. She's like, man, I had a whole bedroom to myself. I didn't have this sad fucking statue sitting next to me. It was amazing. How how good is it? And he's like, yeah, I cried myself to sleep. In fact, I didn't sleep. I just cried for eight hours and then I got really dehydrated, had some more water and uh, refreshed those tears. Oscar was, uh, he went to a strip club. Can I say that? Yeah, I don't care. Then I get to keep the ring because a ring is a gift and if he thinks he could take it away from me, he would be without I, a I actually hope you keep it until, yeah, one of the kids. Yeah, I'm keeping it and it's mine and you can't take it. He's like, I never wanted you to not have it. I want you to keep it, that was the point. What happens if I have a fifth kid though? Well, that, hey, that's your new person's problem, not mine, dude. Yes. <laughs> For real. Man, she's she's so far in, in the future, she's like already thinking about kids with her, her mystery new person that maybe doesn't exist yet, or maybe does. That, <laughs> she's like, what, what happens when I have kids with someone else? And he's like, oh my God, I, I, I'm still like uh, sad that I'm sleeping in a different room. You're already having kids in your head. Fuck. The minute I met you, I should have been like, oh my god, say no to this girl. This yes. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you should have. Holy shit. I feel like uh, that's why he's doing the thinking pose, because he's like, oh my god. I was right. Seven years ago, I was fucking right. I never should have done this. Me, what you do? I've done nothing. Like, besides some attitude here and there. And comforting another guy because he was sad. Oh, oh my is. god, no! How does it get worse? Oh, dude. Oh, I don't know what I don't know what the fuck to say. This sucks. I hate you. I don't like you. Get rid of her. Move out, dude. Save your life. Get away from her. Oh, bro. That is obviously what they were talking about in the middle of the video where they were trying to change the definition of cheating so that he didn't jump off a bridge. Oh my god. And she's like bringing it up in the fucking breakup video, which I, look, I would assume she's edited because if, if I was this dude, I would not include this moment. I'd be like, that really hurt my feelings. That's what we've been arguing about for fucking months. That's why we broke up. I'm editing it out of the video for at least so that my kids don't see it when they grow up. Oh man, why would she drop that? How many of you guys do you think you rub do up on them? As many as you want. Yeah, okay, that that last like 30 seconds is like her like weaponizing his pain. Me like, oh, I'm gonna fuck other dudes now. It's like, oh, all right. You know that they had a blow up after this. Man, that's, yeah, that is the worst fucking breakup video I've ever seen. Uh, and I've seen all of them because I legally have to as a YouTube creator, I gotta watch all of them. It's in our contracts. I don't know if you guys know that. That's terrible. I, uh, I hope, I hope I, I hope this channel gets deleted just quietly a few days after this. I hope this is never seen again. Guys, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, this is uh, probably not how I wanted to start the year. I wanted to start the year with a bigger video, but uh, like I said, my whole team got COVID and I'm pretty sure I have it right now. Uh, at least after watching this, I hope I do and maybe I'll succumb to it. Gee, that'd be a terrible way to start the year. Guys, uh, this year's going to be awesome. I've got a brand new studio that, that we're building out at the moment, so it's not going to be like uh, impromptu green screen videos uh, uh, anymore. There'll be some of that stuff, but that's not going to be the only thing I upload. So I uh, hope this uh, will tide you over in the meantime until my team's back in action and we're making uh, the stuff that I want to make. And stay tuned. Uh, keep an eye out for my Melbourne Comedy Festival tickets. They're going on sale uh, very soon, lewisspears.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Lewis Spears. Uh, I promise uh, the next video is going to be bigger, better, more exciting, and uh, this year's going to be great. All right. All right, so until then, I'll talk to you soon.
buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt.